morning and welcome back to the Weather Academy. All month long we've been learning about hurricanes and last week we built our own hurricane proof house. But today we're going to be learning about the cone of uncertainty. The cone of uncertainty is something you might see a lot, especially during hurricane season that meteorologists use to help give an example of where exactly the storm will be tracking. It's a forecast product put out by the National Hurricane Center. It's full of useful information. So today we're going to make sure you know exactly what the cone is trying to show you. The cone stretches all the way from about 12 hours out to 120 hours out. At each point along the system here, or along the life cycle of our hurricane, we're going to be forecasting casting the intensity as well as the location of the center of the storm. That's important. The cone is only tracking where the middle of the storm is going to go. The impact of that storm can still be felt outside of our cone here. You'll also never see the cone extend past five days and that's because once we get five days out our forecast becomes a little bit too uncertain to track for sure. But once we're within 12 hours to 120 hours we have a pretty good idea of where exactly this hurricane will be tracking. Now five days out that's the farthest you're going to see. That's also why our cone is the widest at the top because that gives us the most wiggle room of where exactly the eye will be tracking. Once we get to 12 hours out, much smaller, much thinner of a cone, only 27 miles across. How wide the cone is at each point in its forecast is based on our historical error or how well our forecasts have done in the past. So 2021's track is based off the error from 2016 to 2020. Now the good news is we keep getting better at forecasting hurricanes thanks to advancements in technology as well as advancements in satellite. That means the top of our hurricane cone here, or our cone of uncertainty, has shrunk about 100 miles in the last 10 years. In fact, the National Hurricane Center has gotten so good at forecasting where these systems are going to be tracking that the eye of the storm stays within our cone two-thirds of the time. But again, the rain bands of our hurricanes stretch much wider than that, the impacts of the hurricanes can still be felt even if you're not in the cone. That's why it's important to listen to meteorologists when they say what impacts you can expect with these systems because even in these eye wall or in the eye rain bands, we can see tornadoes, strong winds, and heavy downpours as well as flash flooding. I hope you've enjoyed learning about hurricanes this month with us. Make sure you turn in next week because Sheena will be kicking off our next topic by talking about high and low pressure systems.